Well, well, well. Hello there, boys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Mr. Rationalizer himself right here. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. As you guys can see, the sun is shining. Uh, the cold part of the winter is somewhat over. Now it's feeling warm again here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, yeah, today uh, we're going to go back again to the Journey to a Thousand Pound series. And it's going to be the uh, third episode of the series and second episode of uh, January. And it's going to be deadlift. And uh, yeah, right now, obviously, we're trying to go from 860 to 1,000 pounds, as we said, from the start of January to the end of April. And us, after the bench press session we, that we recorded uh, came out like a couple days ago, we did not improve. So we're still at 860 pounds. So hopefully today we pull through heavy and uh, really start pushing towards that 900 uh, total. Uh, with all that being said, we're just going to go right into the summary clip now. If you've already watched the summary clips and you've already watched one of my videos, you can just skip it. I put timestamps on my video so you can do that. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to move into that and then I'll see you guys in the lifting session. All right. Okay. Ciao. Uh, so guys, I'll look under the summary clip and the summary clip will be discussing two major parts. Uh, the first part is discussing what's our goal. And the second part is going to be how we're going to how we're going to go about documenting uh, this journey. So let's get into the first part, which is what's our goal? Well, first of all, uh, I'm currently in uh, halfway through an eight month bulking journey, which started in September and will end in April. And this is being done completely natural. It's just protein supplements, creatine and vitamin supplements being taken. Uh, since we're halfway through, I'm kind of tweaking and changing my uh, my main focus towards uh, two things for the next four months, uh, which is going to consist of powerlifting and uh, flexibility. So I want to greatly improve in these two areas. So let's go ahead and specify our goals in these two areas. Uh, the first one is powerlifting. For powerlifting, I'm at currently uh, lifting 860 pounds uh, combined between my three main lifts, which is squats, bench, and deadlift, uh, with my bench being 225 pounds, and my deadlift being 335 pounds, and squats being 280 pounds. And these are one rep max lifts, basically. And the goal by the end of the four months is to get to a thousand pounds lifted between these three main lifts. So how are we going to get there? Well, uh, to get there, we're going to break it down into two major aspects of any physical, uh, physical endeavor, uh, which is going to be uh, my training and my diet. So uh, let's start with a diet. Uh, for the diet, I'll be eating at a caloric surplus for the next uh, four months. Uh, I'm trying to bulk as well, so which is great. So it kind of comes hand in hand, uh, but I'll be trying to gain a kilo of body weight per per month sorry not per week uh per month for the next four months so currently i'm at 86 pounds as of december 29th 2023 and uh, by the end of april i want to be 90 kilograms and uh the other thing is going to be protein we're trying to go be consuming about a gram of protein per pound of body weight which is a recommended amount if you want to put on proper size and uh, we're also going to be consuming five grams of creatine every single day and as well as taking some vitamin supplements and of course making sure I sleep at least eight hours every night to make sure I am uh, recovered and the muscle is getting built. So that's my diet. So uh, in terms of my training plan, uh, we'll be doing a push-pull leg split uh, with the minimum rest period between these uh, splits of uh, two days uh, to with the maximum rest period of four days. So if I hit uh, push on Monday, at the earliest, I'll hit pull on Thursday, not the latest, I'll hit it on Saturday. Uh, the reason for this uh, large amount of rest period is because of the training methodology that I follow of uh, high intensity training popularized by Arthur Jones and later on by great bodybuilders such as Mike Menser and uh, Dorian Yates and Tom Platz and so on. And uh, with this training methodology, we're going to try to do very, very low sets, one set or two sets at a maximum and uh, push each set to absolute failure as much as you can possibly do uh, through the utilization of uh, drop sets and uh, with this training methodology is going to take a lot of stress on the body and especially on the central nervous system. Therefore, you're going to need proper and adequate amount of rest to make sure I'm properly recovered before my next training session. And uh, that's why there is a, a large rest period between uh, our splits, basically. And uh, we'll always start each of our splits, either push, pull legs with the compound exercises, compound free weight exercises, and then we'll move on to machine and isolation exercises. So for example, for push, I can, I'm going to start with a bench press. So I'm going to do uh, two to three sets of heavy bench press, and then I'll move on to machine and isolation workouts.
and uh, I'll just pop up a screenshot of my actual training uh, exercises and routines and everything and uh, here is it for push here is it for uh, pull day and then here it is for our uh, legs so that's going to be our training routine and actual sets and reps we're going to be doing in the gym i usually don't count my reps i just go again as i said to failure and uh whatever those reps are is what i hit for the day but yeah along with that uh since we're trying to do uh, power lifting uh, we're going to focus on the three main aspects of improving powerlifting numbers. Uh, the first part is obviously going to be technique. So the technique for the squats, for the deadlifts, for the bench press is going to be very uh, critical in terms of just improving the numbers without uh, having to recruit more muscle or build more muscle. Uh, and then we'll do this through the uh, recording of myself while I'm at the gym and through the through me watching the recording and seeing my technique and my form i can tweak it and improve it as i go along so the second main aspect of powerlifting is going to be hypertrophy to improve the numbers and uh, as i said this will be done through the principles of high intensity training plus progressive overload plus proper rest and nutrition and uh, following these principles uh, we should be able to build a muscle as we go along these four month bulking period so uh, that's our goal for hypertrophy so the third aspect of improving powerlifting numbers is going to be neural adaptation and this just basically comes to your body's ability to recruit muscle when you're doing heavy lifts and the way to improve this is obviously just to do uh, low rep high heavy weight exercises on the three main compound lifts which i'm trying to improve on and uh, do them for two to five reps as i said with heavy weight proper form and uh, the, the more i do this the more my brain and the neurons fire properly to recruit more muscle fibers that i have basically so uh, those are the three aspects of powerlifting we're trying to improve on and hopefully with these techniques we should be able to hit a thousand pounds by the end of the four month bulking journey uh, so uh with the uh, power lifting out the way uh, now let's move on to the goals for flexibility so in terms of flexibility our goal is to do 30 minute stretches full body stretches every night before we go to bed and during the stretches our goal is to have complete flexibility on these five major stretches by the end of the journey so we want to unlock complete flexibility to where we can do it with full mobility for all these five stretches and the five stretches that i'm trying to unlock complete flexibility on are number one is splits number two is standing head to knee stretches number three is the pancake number four is the reclining hero stretch number five is the pigeon pose so these five stretches are, are very critical to us so it's the only ones we're going to be tracking with the video but i'll also be doing other stretches along with it as well it's not just going to be these five stretches but these are going to be our focus uh so yeah we'll just track the progress for this as well as we go along for the uh journey so let's go through part two which is going to be how are we going to go about documenting this journey so uh, we're going to be going about it by recording three videos a month so uh, one for push one for uh, pull and one for legs and uh, in these videos, each video will contain uh, one, an intro clip at the start. Number two, the summary clip, which is, you're just watching right now. And thirdly, is going to contain a one rep max attempt on each of our three compound lifts, depending on which day we're doing, obviously, along with at least one working set. So that's all it's going to include. It's not going to include any extra workouts afterwards. Therefore, there's not going to be any uh, machine or isolation workouts included in the vlogs. Uh, if you want to watch those, I have previous videos that I've posted of gym vlogs, so you guys can watch that. So uh, it has everything included in there. But uh, for the next four months, we're just going to be focusing on the uh, three main lifts in terms of the videos. And uh, P.S. I just want to note that I will only be doing one max, uh, one rep max attempts uh, during the days I record. And uh, lastly, uh, just a few more points to take away. Uh, number one is we're going to be doing a, a flexibility update on the third video of every month, the last video of every month, which is going to be the leg days, where we'll go through our five major stretches and see how it's evolved over a monthly period. And another thing I want to note is that in April, instead of doing three gym vlogs, we're going to be doing four the fourth one is just going to be like a finale kind of thing where i'll take 10 days off prior to actually going in the gym and then we'll do our final attempts for all three lifts and see if we actually hit our thousand pound goal so that's everything and uh yeah that was a lot to go through so let's just do a very very quick recap of the summary clip itself uh, in terms of the bullet points so number one is that our goal is to reach a thousand pounds lifted between our three main lifts and uh also gain complete flexibility in terms of our five major stretches so 
Number two is that we're going to be using uh, for YouTube to document this journey, uh, where we'll be posting three videos a month, with the last videos of every month containing a flexibility update, and each video pertaining to push, pull, or legs. And uh, the last month in April, we're going to be doing four videos instead of three, with the fourth one being like a finale update, where uh, we'll try to attempt our thousand pounds lifted between our or our three main lifts in the same day, as well as doing the final flexibility update. And we'll also do a, a quick body show of different poses and the circumference measurement update to see how we've evolved over the the last eight months and see how our numbers have improved. And uh, yeah, uh, that's everything in terms of the summary. And uh, we'll go on to the lifting session now. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Uh, well then boys, uh, welcome back to uh, lifting session. Now we're going to move on with the lifting session uh, with future Eba. You can tell the difference, hopefully. And uh, here we are uh, again us, with any lifting session. We're going to work our way to up to a PR and then do one working set. And uh, with the warm ups, obviously, I don't want to get too close to the uh, max rep attempt weight to where I exhaust my muscles before going into them, nor do I want to do too many reps on the low weight even. So I just want to get the muscles loose and somewhat warmed up and get the form and the execution and the technique right on and get my muscles ready and get my body movement and mechanics ready before the actual uh, uh, PR attempt. So I never want to exhaust myself to, to a point where it takes away from my maximal effort during a PR set. So here we are, we're just going to start with the 185s for the warm ups, usually just do like a couple reps or one rep or so. And uh, here compared to last week, our form is way, way better. Uh, last thing, last week, one thing I was definitely doing every time was my ass was too high in the initial position over here, which caused an excessive motion in the forward direction over here that way my body mechanics was not like my arms are not facing straight up as they are right now which reduced the amount of weight i can lift and also uh it also makes injuries way more possible so i don't want to do that so i've uh, definitely made a mental note to improve that for this week and i think i did by the looks of it I'm, my form is way better this time around still needs a bit more tweaking but definitely heading in the right direction and uh, here we are for this one for example i dropped my ass right away to make sure i have the proper form at the initial position because if the initial position is good it kind of you know, cascades into all the way up until you stand up basically so here as you guys can see i dropped my ass my knees are into my uh, arms over here and my arms are facing straight up. I have my chest puffed out. I have my lats engaged and the straight back and ready, clean to the mouth guard and ready to pull basically. So yeah, so you guys can see that's pretty good mechanics. Uh, the only problem here is I'm not engaging my glutes too well enough at the top position. So I just need to make it more mindful to where I have to like squeeze my butt cheeks together basically and engage my glutes a bit more. But apart from that, I'm satisfied with my form compared to, especially compared to last week. And then here we are with the 315s. This is the last warm up set before we go on to the PR attempt. And uh, we started wearing belts now. We don't, we, we used to not wear belts, but uh, since we're trying to get close to a thousand pounds, 140 pounds in four months is a lot to gain. So belts will definitely help, especially in terms of squats and deadlift itself, just uh, creating abdominal pressure, which my core is a bit too weak, I would admit. So I'm definitely doing like a lot of suitcase carries and stuff like that to work my stabilizing muscles inside the core muscles. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, we, we're gonna be wearing belts from now on, basically especially on deadlift and uh, squats. But yeah, here I am just getting myself primed and ready for the lift. Uh, one thing I always do on um, PR attempts is just close my eyes and breathe heavy. Breathe heavy, get as much oxygen in me as possible, get my heart racing fast, and get myself, in a sense, angry and ready to just output maximal force just one time. And uh, yeah, it takes me about like a minute of just closing my eyes and just putting myself in a proper zone to where this weight is coming up no matter what kind of zone. So yeah, here we are. As you guys can see in my face, I'm, I'm really angry at this point. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna drop our butt cheeks again. And boom, up we go. And pulling, 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 boom. There we go, we did it. So that is um, uh, 385 in terms of the weight. So that's a 30 pound increase on our previous PR of 355. So a massive, a massive, a massive pull through from the deadlift. And uh, yeah, this is, this definitely puts us on the right track to that thousand pound goal. So I'm really happy with that because if dead, the deadlift didn't come through, I would have been, I would have been fucked basically. Uh, but yeah, if you go back just to analyze the form right quick, 
the starting position could have used a bit of work there for sure my butt cheeks did raise a bit too fast there for my uh, liking uh but apart from that on the way up i could have engaged my glute c is so weak that it wouldn't engage properly at the top position so i just need to work them on a separate occasion uh just do isolation workouts on the glutes trying to engage them maybe do some kettlebell swings and stuff like that uh, but apart from that, yeah, I think that was pretty good form overall compared to last week, to, compared to last time for sure. So yeah, really happy with myself. And uh, now we move on to the working sets. And uh, with the working sets, I always try to, I try to do two working sets every time. The first working set is always more uh, geared towards neural adaptation in a sense of getting my muscle recruitment ability increasing my muscle recruitment ability basically by doing uh, heavy weight low rep exercises that way my muscles fire properly and that i recruit more muscle fibers as i keep doing it over and over again i get used to it my body gets used to it and my body gets used to recruiting more muscle fibers so i, I usually do one uh, set like that and then the second set i do more for uh, hypertrophy training where i do higher rep reps and uh, yeah, I just push it to the limit on that one compared to uh, these ones. So this one is gonna be the uh, neural adaptation set basically, uh, where we'll try to do probably around five reps max and uh, do about like 80, 70% of your uh, max uh, PR attempt. So that, that's 315, that's close enough. And uh, here we are. Uh, that takes a toll on you especially the last few reps on a heavy weight exercise like this as you guys can see you know when you're getting tired in deadlift because your your midsection starts shaking as you go up so yeah i think this is the last rep over here i'm just engulfing as much air as i can and then up she goes boom okay i almost fell forward there but yeah that is it and you get really dizzy after heavy sets for sure uh so yeah now we're gonna move on to a a, a hypertrophy set basically we're gonna take off the belt just to work our core muscles and uh, start with the 275 and then work our way down so during drop sets i don't want to take too much of a rest period between uh, the drop sets themselves i just need to catch my breath and then back on it because i don't want the muscle to recover to any degree at all i just want to i just want to kill it basically so yeah here we are and uh, i try to slow it down as well when i come back down uh, so here as you guys can see on the way down I try to control the weight that way I'm working the decentric portion as well But it's way harder during deadlifts compared to other exercises Especially controlling it on the way down it takes a lot out of you for sure uh, But it's necessary and it's crucial in order to build proper strength and uh, yeah as you guys can see I just four times it there I just took off the 25 plates and we're gonna go with 225 again and then drop setter and keep going So yeah, I'll just double speed through her just to get through a bit faster here uh, but here we are just rowing all the way up every time it's full focus nothing else matters at this point I'm completely in my zone and just fucking going after it man there's no better feeling for sure you, when you're in that zone it doesn't matter what you're doing studying soccer any physical exercise when you're just in that zone you know it you feel it it's very it's fantastic but yeah here we are we just finished 225 as you guys can see i got a bit dizzy and had a bit out of breath there so i had to take a bit of a breather it took about 30 seconds to a minute maybe rest and then here we go again now this is the last uh, drop set of uh, 185 and then yeah we're just gonna go to town again keep going until failure basically and uh, during these moments, you have a lot of doubts in your head of just like, oh, stop, you can, you should stop, you should do this, you should do that. But you have to, like, it takes time to learn, obviously, but you have to just learn to ignore them and just go to town and just focus and keep going until you can't push it up anymore. Not until your brain tells you to stop. There, I could have went, definitely went for a few more reps there. So next time, just push even harder. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Uh, that was our lifting session. We increased by 30 pounds. So that takes our total to 890 pounds now. So if the squat session pulls through in a similar fashion, we're going to be well on our way to a thousand pounds goal. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. That is it. I'll see you guys in the uh, squat video, which is going to come out like in a couple of days max. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Okay. Peace out. Bye.